first thing I want to start off with, which is uh, completely uh, precarious and actually weird, um, after the death of uh, one of the biggest icons in the music uh, uh, business, and also I think he's been a, a mentor uh, to many musicians, uh, Eric Clampton uh, gave a very uh, surreal, his own personal eulogy on, uh, on uh, YouTube or one of the, was it YouTube? Okay. B.B. Uh, uh, King, uh, you know, was around uh, for a long time, great guitar player, very well respected, and uh, people who knew him said he was a very bright, very nice, very uh, kind human being. But his immediate family is uh, conspiracy theory. They're saying that he was poisoned, that he was injected with uh, more insulin than he uh, was supposed to take, and he went into an insulin shock, and that's why he died. Now. On his Facebook page. Okay. Well, I love Eric Clampton. I think he's, he's one of the most brilliant musicians in the world. But a lot of people <coughs> really respected B.B. King for his uh, great uh, blues. I, I, I thought he had a little bit of R&B in there. Was, he wasn't straight blues. but and he, I thought he was a great guitar player, but I loved, his, I, lo I loved his singing. I thought he was a great singer. So, uh, Psychic Nicky, I'm going to go to you. What do you believe about this conspiracy that he was poisoned? Do you believe it's true, or did he die of natural causes? Well, you know what? He, he wasn't a well man, but I did predict his death um, on my site um, back in December. And I met this man several times. He was a very sweet guy, you know? And he was kind of feisty, which means he would want to live, despite the fact that he had diabetes. You know, there's a lot of people that have that, and they live long. So I'm kind of thinking that, you know, his family may be a little right about this. There's more to this. I yeah, really but couldn't have, it, couldn't have it been just a mistake, or couldn't they have given him, uh, whether it wasn't malicious, they gave him just a little too much, and he went into um, an insulin shock? Well, you know, you know they, his family, um, you know, are saying that he was poisoned. And there's a great possibility of... But why would anybody poison him? For money. The state, who's, the, yeah. Yeah, for money. So who would, who would uh, benefit from his estate? Well, you never know. You know, it could be people around him. You know, when it comes to money from an estate, when people die, you know, they all get greedy. But he was in his 80s. I just lost an uncle to, uh, to uh, diabetes in, in, uh, in Italy, in Sicily, uh, very close, my, my mother's brother. Right. And, uh, you know, he went into a shock, a diabetic shock, and, he, and then he went into a coma, never... Uh, came out of it and right. and you know the same same age he was in his 80s like um, the great BB King I mean you know it's a terrible it's a terrible disease and um, in adults uh, you know your, your circulation starts to go and and that's when they start to cut off uh, limbs and, and, and well you know I don't I I think he was not a well man but he certainly had the will to live what? I met him several times, and, you know, he was very, even though he had that, and it was in his later years that I met him, he was still very, as long as he had his guitar and he was singing, he felt great, you know? But, but still, still, I'm just trying to think in my head, uh, you know, he, he's an icon, he's a famous person. I'm sure that uh, uh, the coroner would have done a very in-depth uh, study to make sure that uh, he died of natural causes. I don't believe it. You don't? I, I do not believe. Okay. I don't believe in the conspiracy theory. I believe it was his time uh, to uh, join the big band in the sky, and uh, I just don't believe it. And what do you believe? Do you believe this conspiracy theory, Billy? Well, I, I, I don't know what his estate would be. Uh, Millions. Be, in order for there to be a conspiracy theory, there would have to be a fairly significant estate and somebody wanted a part of it or was, was aware very that close they were going to, to get a part of it Who's and very wanted close to rush him. the process. That's the procedure. Yeah, that and I agree with that. That that could very well happen. I wouldn't throw this out. And, and I, I, I think it's wrong. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah, I think it's uh. wrong. I think that the man, um, you know, he um, he was very blessed. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a horrible uh, condition or disease, uh, diabetes, and... Um, and he was in his 80s, and... Uh, yeah, but he could have lived to 100, you know, like... I wish he would have lived to 100. I love his music. Um, that's what my 
my genre of music is. I, I love that kind of music. I, mm. And and I was I think he, like I said he was a an excellent guitar player, but he was uh, more for me a, a great singer and a great interpreter. But he of was music. also very feisty, which keeps you alive. <laughs> well, you need to be feisty uh, yeah. if you wanna if you, you you need to have the will to live. Right. I, have a, I have a dog right now. He's a Neapolitan Mastiff. He's 11 years old. He just went through back surgery, and, and for a big dog, uh, 11 years is, uh, is like he's over 100 years old, but he wants to live. He doesn't want to die. So That's blue, right? Yeah, that's blue, my buddy blue. And uh, I, I just think that there was this time, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's uh, horrible uh, to get old. Right. And uh, you, uh, unfortunately, if you don't look after yourself, it's like uh, you're going to pay for it when you're getting older. I mean... Um, you know, he was a little bit overweight, uh, but he was in his 80s. He lived a great life. I, he did. I, I think that they should just uh, allow the man. To, but the truth will come out. And I, I really believe that the authorities did their due diligence. Okay. Coroner, coroners usually, usually, especially in, in North America, in Canada, in the United States, they do a, a proper job. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. I don't think they missed this one here, but we'll see. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, people think that uh, they're just trying to get some uh, uh, media uh, propaganda. Uh, his, the people who were saying that there was a conspiracy to uh, poison the, the, the legend of uh, blues. I feel like there's greedy people around him. Oh, there's fucking greedy people around everybody. Yeah, right? well, I, mean, I feel that, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping that it was just natural causes, but I'm kind of thinking 50-50 here.